welcome back to the program where this episode featuring one that I have not had, never had this in my 50 plus years, Harp Lager from Guinness. Guinness Harp Lager. I can't believe I've never had this. I've had this glass for five to 10 years. I don't even know. Bought a bunch of glass uh, at like a I don't know, yard sale or something. I can't remember where I even got it. And this was just one of them that was in there. I've always kept it on the shelf up there. And I figured I was able to grab this, a uh, single bottle of it. And perfect time to use this pint glass, really. So this here says, Harp is a premium lager imported from Ireland. Uh, brewed in the classic Pilsner style as created by a Guinness German brewmaster in 1960. This crisp lager has a fruity nose and a clean finish with hints of malt and citrus hops. Does it list the ABV on here? Uh, it's an 11.2 ounce bottle and I want to say... The ABV was four and a half. I could be wrong on that, uh, but check the description. It's in there. Uh, anyway, I'm going to crack this thing open and um, see what it's all about. Again, never had this before. It's kind of crazy to think I've never had this, um, but uh, it is what it is. I guess I'm losing my uh, harp lager uh, virginity uh, tonight. St. James Gate, uh, Dublin. Ireland. All right, so I don't know if it's a twist off, but in case it's not, I don't want to look stupid, so I'll just crack it open here. All right, let's get a pour on this thing, see what it's all about. Oh, uh, there's something about that pour there that just made me think crisp, refreshing, light lager. All right, so very clear, good carbonation, just rinse the glass out. Very frothy head on top of this. Just over a finger of just a white, frothy, few, uh, few bubbles popping away in there. For the most part, extremely frothy, extremely well carbonated, very clear looking beer. A little bit of a sweet, Sweet fruitiness. Maybe a little bit of a, like a grassy, like a lemony grassiness to it. For the most part, it smells pretty good. So let's get a drink on this thing. See what it's all about. Light, very thin, crisp, refreshing. Above average carbonation. Just pins dancing on the tongue. So, taste wise, get a little bit of generic fruitiness. Uh, like a grainy, um, I don't know, a bit just a wheat, grainy earthiness to it. Maybe bread dough, like a bready doughiness. In fact, as I'm taking a drink and my nose is kind of in the glass there, I do get very much of like that bready, like a bready doughiness to it in the nose. Uh, overall, for a macro um, lager, it's probably above above average. Um, I I can't really compare it to Budweiser or something like that. Budweiser, Coors, something like that. Because I don't drink a lot of Budweiser. Um, but I would like like my macro lagers. If I was 
going out to a restaurant all they had was like macro lagers um i always gravitate to pbr for some reason i don't know what it is uh, maybe because my stepdad and grandfather drank that when i was young that's kind of my would be a go-to macro lager for me um but if this was there if, if i i mean it's never going to be on tap in a restaurant here in you know anywhere i go in ohio um but i would i would drink this again this is for a macro lager this is very good, really. Super easy drinking, refreshing, crisp. <sighs> Anyhow, those you guys, uh, ladies, guys, ladies, whatever out there, you had Heart uh, Lager before, um, Guinness, the Guinness Brewing Company, um, imported from Ireland. Let me know what you think about it. I would recommend this. Um, Anyhow, like, subscribe, comment. Check me out on social media. Check out my other videos. Thanks for watching.